What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So we have another custom room for nothing phone one which is called as rice droid and that's based on android 13. So in this video we'll talk about every new feature what you guys gonna see on rice droid for nothing phone one along with that I'll also update you guys about the stability part of this room. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here you can see I have my nothing phone one which is currently running on the initial builds of rice droid which is based on android 13 so if you go to about section here you can see it says android 13 if i tap here here we have all the details of this particular rom it's rice os this rom comes with 5th october 2022 security patch and if you see the about section it kind of looks similar to oneplus smartphones if you guys wish to install i'll leave the manual guide in the description below it's quite simple just follow the guide which is given in the description below and also if you guys face any kind of issues then we have a dedicated group for nothing phone one there you can ask us any questions related to this particular room which is rice droid it's an official build but right now you won't be able to update it through ota in upcoming days you guys will have ota support with this room also and if you guys have any kind of feature request Request, then do let us know join a telegram group the link can be found in the description below you can let us know what all features you want in upcoming builds and developer of this room can try his best to add those features now before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video and i like this room because it gives a vibe of any other room which is present which is highly customizable good in battery backup performance wise also okay but right now as these are initial builds so you might encounter some more the other issues here and there but basic services like calling which includes wi-fi calling 5g support bluetooth support fingerprint unlock auto brightness and even fast charging works perfectly fine this is going to be the initial look it's exactly similar to other custom rooms like pixel room you get this quick setting tiles there are a lot of options present here for example screen recording and screen recording also comes with a lot of new add-ons which you basically don't get to see on nothing os and as said you get every feature of android 13 which you guys see on pixel devices for example if you go to wallpapers and style section here we do have the support of monet themed icon and on themed icon this particular room also supports the theme icons in app drawer though not every application is being supported so here you can see we have enabled themed icon and if we go to the app drawer here most of the applications do have the support but there are few applications which doesn't support this feature we have the support of wide wide l1 certification though the netflix application doesn't open i have installed the application let me show you we do get to see an error so here you can see once i try to open the application we have an error here all the basic sensors works perfectly fine like accelerometer light proximity magnetometer compass and gyroscope on this current build which i am using on my nothing phone one here we do get the support of three cameras but as spoken to developer he'll be removing two of them basically we'll keep only google camera go edition these were meant for testing purpose and will be removed in the files which we'll be providing in the description below also let's take a look at the benchmark results on this custom room so if you go to history here you can see single core have scored 792 and multi core have scored 2850 we also ran cpu throttling test and did not notice any kind of throttling issues maximum cpu throttled up to 92 percent so these were some of the basic things which we have spoken now let's talk about the customization options present and the features present on this room so if you go to settings we do have a dedicated section called personalization where you can customize a lot of things first talking about the miscellaneous part so here we do have the support of game space application and this is quite useful application if you guys are into gaming from here you can disable auto brightness swipe to screenshot you can also enable stay awake your screen won't lock if you are into the game and you can also lock the gestures if you take a look at the miscellaneous part here there are a lot of new add-ons which you guys can enjoy on your nothing phone one we have an option of system boost so this can boost your device performance while gaming and you can also unlock higher fps in the games i'll also be showing you the gameplay wherein i played bgmi with 90 fps 
So in the later part of the video, I'll show you guys that. After that, there are few options where you can customize the notification panel. Customizations for the quick setting panel also present. There are a lot of battery styles present. If you talk about font, we do have a lot of pre-installed fonts. So here you can see these are the fonts and one of my favorite font is of nothing OS. There are two fonts. One is nothing dot and the second one is nothing dot headline. You can choose any one of these and the entire device will adapt to these fonts. So here you can see and it also applies to the quick setting panel or you can say quick setting tiles. And we have also seen a lot of users asking about fingerprint icons and the different type of fingerprint animations. So here you can see there are a lot of animations present on this room including firework, magic, scan, simple, warp, wormhole, smoke etc. And all these animations do works perfectly fine. If you want to choose between the fingerprint icon, there are tons of icons present here on this room. Though this section sometimes feels jittery, but yes, if you want to try out different fingerprint icons, you can choose them from here. Other than these customization options, if you go to settings, system, tapping on buttons, then there are basic stuffs also like you can use power button to end the call or long pressing the power key, you can enable torch. And here we do get the option to take a partial screenshot. So if you enable this feature, short press power key and volume button. Once you do that, you have an option to take a partial screenshot. But if you long press power key and volume key together, then it will take the entire screenshot of the screen. Not everyone likes that grayish background when enabling dark mode. So developer have given an option here to get that pitch dark theme on this particular room. Once you enable dark mode or you can say dark theme, here we have an option called pure dark. Soon I enable it, the entire device or you can say screen theme changes to dark black color. I personally like the pure dark color instead of that grayish background. And developer have also added the edge lightning feature which we used to see on OnePlus smartphones. And this works perfectly fine. You can choose the edge lightning view from solid to faded one and you also have the option to select different colors and later can set the edge lightning duration maximum up to 10 seconds and now let's move on to the gaming part so as i told you guys earlier this room comes with 90 fps support in games like battlegrounds mobile india i did test out the game with 90 fps the game was perfectly fine one or two places i did encounter fps dropping around 40 to 50 but other than that device was constantly maintaining fps above 80 frames per second and along with that i did not even see any kind of heating issues meanwhile here is a small gameplay which you guys can take a look at Now let's talk about some of the issues or you can say minor bugs which I have encountered. So one of them I have already informed you guys that's related to the Netflix application which doesn't run on this ROM. We do get an error saying error starting screen recording. So screen recording is not working on this build which I am using. Hopefully I'll try to provide you guys the updated version of this ROM where these minor issues would have been taken care. The next bug is related to the camera application which is present on the home screen. So if you see the icon app icon. If I tap here, it says app not installed. But if I open the same application from here, the camera do opens up. You see any application here in the app drawer, all the three camera applications do work. And it's a very minor issue guys. You can just remove this app from here and you'll be good to go. I'm just mentioning you guys because I've noticed this thing on this room. And normally while using the device, like if you're going into deep settings or sub settings, you will feel little bit of jitters or you know, slight lags while scrolling around. So keep this thing in mind. These are not major issues to worry about. You can easily use this room as a daily driver. And at last, double tap to wake gesture is not working. Though the double tap to sleep gesture works fine, but double tap to wake gesture doesn't work on this current build. And if you guys are aware that nothing phone had one of the feature which we haven't seen on any smartphone and that's 
glyph interface you can call it as feature also or you can consider it in design category so right now if you guys are looking for this glyph support on these initial builds we only have the support of charging meter nothing else so glyph interface or you can say glyph light won't be fully functional you can only use charging meter on the current builds present for any custom room right now for nothing phone one so guys this was a quick look on nothing phone one second custom room which is rice droid based on android 13 if you guys have any kind of questions related to this room make sure to join a telegram group there we can help you guys installing this room and can also answer your questions so as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day Thank you.